All right, welcome back to one of our five minute Fridays. For this video, what we're gonna do is talk about one of the new features in Autodesk Takeoff, which is part of the Autodesk Construction Cloud. And that's going to be the feature to export your takeoff out to a PDF. And um, so without further ado, let's jump into that. We're gonna come into our Construction Cloud. We're gonna go from our um, different modules here to the upper left corner. We're gonna go to our takeoff module. And if you don't know how to uh, use Autodesk Takeoff, we do have a video on that as well. Uh, we're gonna jump down to all the different packages that we have here. And currently I have a doors and windows takeoff package, a flooring package, a mechanical package, and I can jump into any one of these. I can also go to our sheets and models right here, and I can even just dive right into the sheet first if I wish. So I could go right into A101, and what it's going to do up here in the top left is ask me to pick the takeoff package. So let's go to doors and windows. Uh, we're on A101, or I could pick the sheet right here, and we're in our current uh, 50CD document right here. So we notice that we don't have any windows, so let's just do a little mini takeoff before I show the exporting tool, or else this would turn into a one-minute video. All right, so what we're going to do is go up to our takeoff types. You can see I already have a type for doors and windows. And we could always edit this type as well right here, make some changes if we want to change the color, change its location, some other information like that. Um, we could also create a new takeoff type up here. But since we already have our windows, we're just going to go down to the lower left corner and choose inventory. And when we do that, you can see over here, um, we're going to use the uh, symbol count button here and count each one of these windows one by one just by clicking on them. And if you didn't wanna go around and click on an entire project, what you could do is use the symbol detector. So down here in the count tab, we're gonna choose symbol detection. I'm gonna drag my icon over the symbol, choose apply. It's now gonna search this entire um, floor plan for that symbol. And then I can create them all as uh, takeoffs. So it found um, eight new ones. There were 16 matches, but I had already previously taken, sorry, took it off uh, the eight of them. So I'm going to choose save and it'll save all the new ones inside of here. Let's close out of that inventory list. And now you can see we've currently uh, took off all of the windows as well and our doors. So the feature that we're going to talk about is how to export this out to PDF. And in the top right corner, beside the compare tool and to the left of the shortcuts menu, which by the way, the shortcuts menu is great. It gives you a nice little quick tip on how to uh, use the keyboard commands to quickly take off your, um, your project here. We're going to go to the export sheet to PDF button. And we're just going to save it as A101 for now, but we could obviously give it a name in front of it and choose the export button. Now that gets saved into our downloads on our computer. We can open that file up and you can see that we've now exported our uh, PDF out. And in the top right corner, which is nice, it automatically adds a, uh, a legend for you, uh, giving you some information. We have eight doors, 16 windows, um, 21 meters of curtain wall. And uh, yeah, so that's our uh, five minute Friday tip of the week. And I uh, hope everybody enjoyed that. Thank you.